Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode. From me, Avamance, and we are on Avamance here again. Yeah, we are properly bringing this place on. Last week, if you remember, we did that slime farm in the swamp, just across, just past the mate space, across the long bridge. And it came out beautifully, and I'm really pleased, and it's actually getting, with, with AFK, it's getting loads of slime balls. I'm actually really quite pleased. It's more efficient than I thought it would be. Now, obviously, it is not as good as one of these under the ground slime farms that brings you loads and loads of stuff, but it is not bad and actually is pretty resource friendly, except for the collection system that I put in because I decided I wanted to do something fancy schmancy with a load of rails. It's made me a little bit short of stuff for rails. And what I've had to do is I've had to do quite a lot of mining. I'm not finished and I still need to do quite a lot more to get more gold because I want to do something that's going to get me gold that I don't have to worry about anymore. So I can just get lots of gold, lots of gold, and lots of gold. And that is going to be a gold farm. It's time today to do the Avamancia gold farm in survival. It's going to be a work in progress. We're not going to finish it today because I want it to be pretty massive. And the amount of obsidian I'm going to need for it to be finished is not going to be done in this time. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to kind of build it up and build it up and build it up. You know how it works, that kind of thing. So we're going to go and do that today. Um, but what we've got to do is we've got to make sure we're facing the right way. I've got into the nether because the thing about nether portals, and obviously that's how the gold is farm is going to work. It's going to be an overworld gold farm. I may later on do a nether gold farm, definitely, but an overworld gold farm needs to have nether portals coming like bringing the pigmen through. And that's dead easy. Obviously, that's an absolute doddle. But the problem is, if you have an active nether portal system for transport, if your nether portals are too close together, they get all messed up. And they start to get confused because they're not very clever. So what they have to do is be a thousand overworld blocks apart than other portals. And then they don't see each other and they, they don't make friends. And you don't want nether portals making friends. That's really bad. So I'm looking at the directions in which my nether portals are. And I went through to the nether. And I know that if I faced east, which is that direction, or north, which is that direction, I'm going to be safe building a nether portal that won't interfere with the nether portals that are part of the nether system in the nether so south and west we've actually got a nether portal about a thousand or so blocks away but north and east we do not now east is a whole lot of water with the mob farm etc so we don't want to go east so what we've got to do is we've got to go a thousand blocks in the northern direction the northern direction is past the map wall so what i'm going to do basically is i'm going to get at least just probably just over more like 1100 blocks away from my nether portal here in that direction that's the plan but before we do that i've got to go and get a load of resources because i am a little bit short to say the least so i shall see you down the mine now i've come down the mine and i've found the slime i actually didn't realize that i must have built this in some kind of slime chunk which is very useful to know um i didn't have a clue this was in a slime chunk at all so i need to mark out and find out where in the whereabouts the slime chunk is because maybe i can build a, another slime farm here as well uh which will because it's in the actual spawn chunks, we'll just continue to build myself slime balls without having to worry about stuff. So I need to work out where that is, but I'm not going to do that now. Because what I want to do is I want to be um, mining out a load of stuff. Now basically what I need, I need to get some more gold. I did get a bit more gold before. I need to get some more iron. Because I've got an okay amount of iron, but I've not got masses of iron. But most importantly, I need to get some of this stuff here. This is the stuff that I need. I need obsidian like it's going out of fashion because we're going to be building an awesome uh, gold farm that is going to need a ton of this stuff. Now, I've got quite a lot already, but I'm going to need more. And what I'm doing here is I'm just mining out and using this water that we've got here to help me not lose it into lava because what is almost certainly under here is some lava. But if I've got water running in and I take out that... It just turns any lava into stone or cobble, and then I don't lose it. So that makes it dead easy, right? So we don't lose anything. This is a mistake. That's probably no. There we go. So we've got that's fine under there. This could be just a single obsidian layer. It couldn't it? actually by the look of things, which is fine. Grab that. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on getting a load more resources, and uh, obviously I'll lob some water onto some lava, and I'm going to need a number of stacks even for a relatively small one we're going to need a number of stacks uh, to be able to build the, the size of portals that we want to build so let's just get have we got lava under here this is a gamble now 
I'm always very nervous about mining obsidian this way because you got to make all, the, all this work to get the obsidian out and you lose it in the horrible red stuff. You know, you know Scott. Who's done that? In the comments down below. If you take take an ages mine a load of obsidian and what's happened is just dropped in some lava and you've lost it and it's really frustrating. Everybody in the comments say, yep, that was me. And uh, But anyway, so I'm going to carry on doing this because there's nothing more dull than watching some bloke smack obsidian blocks with a pickaxe. And I will see you when I've got an absolute boatload of resources with some extra uh, iron and stuff as well because I'm hoping to be able to build a rail system to transport to and from where the gold farm is because a thousand blocks is quite a long walk isn't it and I'm lazy. I'll see you in a bit. What I have made, hey right, oh hang on, go away, go away, I don't want you anywhere near, look, oh you're falling in the water so your fire's turning off, have I killed you? Yeah I did. I love your XP, go on, why not, just for a laugh. Right, I've made a proper mess of this place. It's been really good. I've got loads, and I mean properly loads, and loads of uh, lava all over the place, because it's it's everywhere. I've, I've never seen so much lava in a mine before in all my life. Every time I've pulled out some obsidian, I've got more lava, which is brilliant if you want to get a load of obsidian, but look at the state of the place. I've made a real mess. I need to tidy it up, but I'm not doing that now. Because I've got things to do. I need to get on with an episode. Otherwise, you people are just going to watch me sweep. And sweeping and blocking to get stuff done is not really what this episode is all about. So let's get ourselves back up to the surface with all the lovely obsidian that I've just got. And we'll see if we can't make something. I'll see you up there. So we are properly tooled up now. We've got loads of stuff in our inventory. And we've got an ender chest in the base there that's got loads and loads of stuff that we're going to use for this build. I'm taking an ender chest with me. And we can then use that to carry more stuff. A bit like I did when I did that ice castle. Now, we need to get a thousand blocks away in the northerly direction, which is this way, from this portal. Otherwise, they will talk to each other. And they're not very friendly when they talk to each other. Or maybe they're too friendly. And they just link up and it just messes everything up. So I want to get a thousand blocks away. So if I go and get my F3 screen up. You can see I'm about minus 91. If I go backwards, it's actually minus 90 is where that portal is. If I travel in the northerly direction, that's towards negative Z, the minus number goes up, which means actually the number goes down if you think about it mathematically. So I need to get to minus 1,100 at least in that direction to be able to be a thousand blocks away from that nether portal and not mess it all up. So that is what we're gonna do. We're going to get ourselves to minus 1,100, and then we're going to do some building. Let's crack on with it. Before we get ourselves over there, it is time for the mate space. We're going in the mate space because it's episode 20. We have done 20 of these. What? 20 episodes of Amamancia. How on earth did that happen? Right, so we're going in episode 20. Who is going to be our mate for episode 20? Very special mate for episode 20. It is coming around trying to be sneaky so no one knows. Jumping across there. It is Angel Ripoll. Now, Angel Ripoll has done some amazing things the last couple of weeks. You wouldn't believe it. We've got someone that has literally gone back to my first ever episode and is watching every single one. And I don't just mean my survival. I mean everything, even the really rubbish ones. And a commenting on every. It's absolutely amazing. I'm really very, very grateful for that. You are more than welcome, more than earned your position in the mate space. It is a pleasure to know you. Thank you very much. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the comments of all the other videos that you've not quite got to yet. But let's crack on. And by the way, if anybody wants to watch all of the videos like Angel has, go for your life. I'd be really interested to see who could watch all the videos first. Starting from number one, which was, what, three years ago now. Go on, you go and have a go and see if you can do that as well. And I'll crack on with this episode. Let's do this thing. <laughs> what appears to be the very tip of this landmass and it actually works quite well with it being the very tip because that means whilst we might get kind of lots of mob spawning opportunities over there and I suspect under there there is a right old cave system I know there's a ravine not too far that way but this way there's an awful lot of water and what that means is that mob cap problems are going to be lessened as a result of that so we're going to do our system here that's where we're going to do it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get my ender chest and I'm going to decide where the best place to put my ender chest is going to be. Now I just want it 
kind of out of the way um, and we're going to kind of dig into this area here so before I do actually what I might do before I do that I'm just going to get rid of this bit here because we want to basically build in a step system that takes us down to the chests that we're going to use and I want three chests one on top of another so that's one two three so I want to just come down oh use the right thing Ooh, that one and that one okay so get that like that I'm gonna get rid of that and that also and then what I can do is I can get the chests and I can put one chest there one chest there and one chest there so that is going to be our collection system then what we're going to do we're going to come around the back of that and I should have done this bit first I am myself a little system here and in the back of these we are going to put where's my there it is that one and that one we're going to put some hoppers to basically act as the collection system so if I get where's me hoppers so I've got four hoppers in total which is all I need so I'm going to put one hopper into the back of that one hopper into the back of that shift oh no I'm too close to it there we go one hopper into the back of that one hopper I hope that that just went into the back of that one yes it did that's good and and what I'm also going to do is one hopper into the top of that one and to be honest that one's not entirely necessary but I wanted it there anyway and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to get this dirt that I've got here again and I'm going to just build this back up because we don't need this to be empty at all in fact we almost want it to be full run out of, oh, there's my dirt there we go so I almost want that to be full and what this is going to be here that hopper is going to be a drop zone so that's where they're going to land the uh, the zombie pigment that we're going to have for our system now I'm going to make this look a little bit prettier but for now what happened there is anything the zombie pigment drop on that hopper will go down into that hopper which will go down unless it's full will go down all the way to the bottom because hoppers preferentially go downwards before they go across and the stuff will fill up these all the way to the top and that's what we're looking for and then you know what I wonder hmm I wonder if it might be better to do a fourth chest here where's me I did bring a crafting table didn't I yes I did so let's stick a crafting table just down there I'm just going to get some wood because I can and in the crafting table, what am I doing? I'm making a, yeah, making chests, that's right. And I'm, of course I'm short. No, I'm not. There we go. So I'm going to have one more chest. You Wally, come on. Get that there like that. And I'm going to come out and I'm going to have two chests like that. Right, so there we go. I'm happy in now. So what I'm now going to do, that wasn't a really good start, was it? I'm going to get my pickaxe and have I just oh, I've lost my hopper I, no it's gone in you want of course it's gone in there isn't it? I thought what's going on there I've lost my hopper of course it went into the other hopper then what we're going to do is we're going to get our two chests and we're going to stick one chest there one chest next to it and then we're going to get that hopper and we're going to squirt that hopper into the back of that and then that gives us four full double chests that will collect the stuff that we want we then want to be able to row this up with glass because over the top of this is going to have to be glass otherwise if it's not a transparent block that top chest won't open so we want to make sure that that does open and the sheep's going to get in the way and that's going to be like that and we're going to keep that back bit open for now because we're probably going to want to access. So I'm just going to clear myself just a little bit of a path around here. This is the best area selection. Was it? Go away, sheep. And then we're going to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. I'll keep that crafting table there just in case I need it. But what we're going to do is we need to build ourselves our gold um, platform. So it's sort of in the way. Like that. There we go. So we're going to build our gold farm platform. It's going to be relatively suspended, and that doesn't matter. But it's not going to be too far up in the air because we're not looking at these guys dying 
as a result of full damage. We're going to look at them dying as a result of us bashing them a lot because zombie pigmen give you really, really good XP. And because they give you good XP, you want to be able to get the XP from them. And given that this is AFK, it's not just going to go whilst you're you know, miles away at the spawn, uh, uh, spawn chunks. You have to be here to be gathering the gold. You might as well be gathering the XP as well. We'll put in some kind of redundancy measure that means they die um, if you're just AFKing later on. But for now, I just want to make this XP ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to build out in one of the direction. I'm going to decide which direction I'm going to go in. And we're going to build up just a little bit with uh, the glass. Not too much, just a little bit, probably. Um, I reckon one more. Like that. I reckon that's enough. Ouch. Um, so that's going to be the drop. So they're going to fall down there. And I reckon we're going to go, what direction should we go in? What should we do? I reckon, well, get rid of that tree because it's going to be in the way and we'll start to build our uh, drop zone. So I'll be back when I've done that. So we've got ourselves up on uh, the top of the drop zone and the drop is about that far, you can see now. I'm up in the air so no one can actually kill me. And we've got a trench that is just one block deep at the moment and it is eight blocks along going in both directions from here to here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up another level and I'm using cobble simply because it's dead cheap. Look, that zombie down there wants to have a go. He wants to eat my face, but it can't because my face is really tasty. And get, rub it all the way along here. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, and boom. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come up on here and we're going to come back seven with this being number one. So that's one, and I'm just click there. Two, three, four, five six and seven and then one more and then we come up on that so that is seven then we can come this way and fill it in all the way along the leg head hang on get that there like that and then exactly the same along here like that there we go so we've got a double trench and all we're going to do is we're going to carry on doing that Cobble, hang on, sorry, number six. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to carry on doing that all the way both directions. Because if we do it in both directions, that means we've got a pretty wide, um, a, a pretty wide section. So we've got eight there and seven there. So that's pretty good. And then in this direction, we've got another eight and another seven, which gives us, frankly, loads. So if I come down here and I shift click out, so that's one, two, three four five six and seven and then one more and up and then we can just join that all up like that on both sides there we go and actually we're going to square it off because it just looks neater so shift click so I don't fall off and then down there and down there and then come along up on that wall there, 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 there. All the way along. Like that. Right, so now, if I stick a block there and a block there, we've got a nice square area. Then I've got two buckets of water. I'm going to stick one bucket of water in there. That will run the water all the way down to there, you can see. So if I was to jump in the water, have I, have I gone up too far? Hang on a minute, I've gone up too far, haven't I? Um, blast, that's not what I wanted. Right, so let's get this water out again by filling up my bucket. You can go down. So if I then look down there, why is that? Oh, that's just annoying. I've just put, why did I do that? That was foolish. Right, okay, so this is the one that we want to be building on. So let's come here. Oh, hang on. I've, I've somehow lost some, some arts there. So I want to get those arts back just in case it all goes horribly wrong. I'm then going to go and I'm going to put this cobble on here by shift clicking along and there and there as well. 
shift clicking along and there and there as well and now and now shift clicking there and there and then where's me pick there and there and I just want to shift click where's eight there we go shift click don't fall down because you'll fall right on a creeper then you will definitely want to explode your face there we go right so we've got if I just get up here we don't need that so now if I was to put a bucket of water in there now that should just flow nicely along drop down one and go to there but not overflow and then I've just got to fix this side as well in exactly the same way and uh, and then we'll have a decent trench and then what we're going to do is we're going to build up these end bits so as we have water flowing from that direction and also from that direction and that's also going to be in exactly the same way so this is going to come out um, eight this being the the first one so that's one two three four five six seven and eight and then one more up it comes and then again come out seven one two three four five six and seven and then one more and up so that's the size of it that we're going to do so that's going to happen on both sides and this row here we're going to have run the entire length of both sides of this which is why I've got so much cobble because that is a lot of cobble to be using so I'm going to be back when I finish this entire platform and yes obviously I ran out of um, and I'm even using my silk touch I don't want to use my silk touch get rid of the gravel as well I don't want the gravel um, I ran out of cobble of course I did of course I ran out of cobble I haven't got nearly enough cobble to be able to do what I want to do so I've now got to gather up a load more cobble and light this place up so as it doesn't create horrible dark spots and oh I never have enough stuff it's always I ran out of stuff so I've now got to get a load of cobble that I can use to finish off the building I've got plenty of stone brick but that's not for the bit that I'm doing now I need the the cobble to be able to do the tray and it's sort of a tray isn't it and I need this um, and I do the stone bricks for the trim so I'm grumpy because I've not got enough cobble and I've now just got to go and slam my axe my pickaxe into this stone to try and get more cobble have I said the word cobble enough now I think I probably have anyway um can you tell I'm just grumpy look and I'll get some coal because you can never have too much coal can you this is not a mining expedition have I come on get yourself on point mate you know you want to be getting the cobblestone you need about another 10 stacks so let's crack on with that and then I'll get back to the build once I've got the cobble and use the coddle cod coddle what's coddle and use the cobble to do whatever it is I need to do with it no don't pick up the cobble and try and knock the stone out with it you wally <laughs> So we've got our massive platform and it is quite big and I've got myself just a little access bit here. Now theoretically once this is finished we shouldn't have to come up here too often but I've got it there just in case and in terms of getting down I've uh, just opened up the bottom so getting down if I just in case I, I mess up the ladder because sometimes I mess up the ladder going downwards uh, I can just go down and fall down the drop zone ow it hurts a little bit but I can get out there and all is well so I'm coming back up I don't know why I just did that to demonstrate to you that was just daft wasn't it really so let's get back up here uh, because I need to build up the outer wall of the tray so what we're going to do is we're going to come along and we're going to put a row of brick all the way around and I should have just about enough brick to be able to do this with my a uh, few stacks and then once we've done that we're going to stick a um, a row of slab cobblestone slab I've decided to do cobble slab on top of the stone brick to give it a little bit of contrast Get some stone brick. I'm gonna run out of stone bricks probably no I'll be right no, three stacks should be enough um, because this isn't really an aesthetic build this isn't a build that's meant to look pretty and maybe we'll make it look pretty in a bit you know, you know like a future episode or off camera or something like that in the future but right now I just want something that works and um, this should work really quite nicely if I can get these blocks placed on here all the way around nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. right so there 
and oh, and get that one like that. And hang on a minute, let me just check something. Oh uh, yeah, of course, I've got stuff already coming in. Already. Yep, you go down that way. See you later, alligator. And all I want to do now is get my cobble slabbins, which will stop anything spawning on the wall, and put those around. Because this will be a, a bottom half slab, which means nothing can spawn on it. And that's great. That's exactly what we're after. So I'm going to come all the way around here like this. Just cautious of the fact that we've got a little witchy poo over in the corner there that is obviously going to want to have a pop at me. So where's my sword? Oh no, I've, I've left my sword in the thing down there. I've left my sword in the <laughs> in the case, which is not what I was after. I've left the sword in my chest, which means I've got to fight this person. Oh, that was awful shooting. What happened to Katniss? There we go. You burn, baby, burn. Um, I'm going to carry on putting these on here. And of course there's creepers. So let's get the creepers gone. Maybe, 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 maybe we can get rid of them by coming here. They'll try and walk towards me. And they might fall down. Yep, yeah, you come down here. That's it. You fall down that hole. Okay, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just grab stuff off you. That'll do. Boom, de boom, de boom. Right, so we're going to come back up here. Oh, it's just... I, I don't want to light this area up because I only have to take the torches off again. And that's just a pain. So what we're going to do, we're going to get all the slabs all the way around. Oh, get more slabs. There we go. We're going to go all the way around. And then we're going to put the water in. And... Come on. There are so many block placements on this. This is quite a big old farm. Now, making it bigger than it has to be, we're not going to fill it to capacity. Just check there's no face eaters. No, we're not going to fill it to capacity um, in this episode. Because like I said earlier, we need to kind of um, build as we go, sort of, with this um, particular farm. Because I've not really got enough obsidian to do the whole thing. So it's going to be a work in progress. So that now won't allow anything to spawn um, along the edges. It will, of course, allow stuff to spawn in here until, where's my buckets? So we need two buckets of water until we do the water and then the water will stop it. So I'm going to get one bucket there and then I'm going to come along and I'm going to leave a gap and put one bucket there, which should, yeah, put one back there. And theoretically, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, I fell in the water. I fell in the water. Right, so I now need to give me a block. I'm not having a good time. Right, so let's get a block in the corner. I can then get out and I can get rid of that one. That's fine. So let me just, well, at least I know that the settings are correct. Look, because that worked. Let's me have a bucket. There it is. Right, so we are let's that one out and that one out and that should then go. Yep. Okay, so we have two source blocks there. So we want to come along. So that's one, two, and three. That one there. Then that one there, which makes that one in the middle of source block. And there we go. So then we can come along and do the next one, which is one. Hang on. So one, two three, four, five. Stick a bucket of water in there. And then come back one, four, take that. That then is a source block. And then we come along another two. And then come back one, that's a source block, another two. Back one, a source block, another two. That one, and that's a source block. And we're gonna carry them like that. Backwards and forwards until we get trying to make sure that I've not messed up. We should have lines going straight all the way along, like this, until we get to that one. So that one like that, and that one, like that, and that one. Second, you can see how the, the, those lines are going forwards and then that's going sideways, so that's not a source block. That's going sideways, so stick it on that one, 
And then take it from there. That one, take it from there. That one, take it from there. That one, take it from there. And then of course you fall in again. Oh, this is becoming more of a nightmare than it needs to be. Right, so I'm going to crack on and carry on doing this. And once I finish this... No, oh, I'm going to end up falling down the hole again now, aren't I? Absolutely brilliant. We're going to end up falling down the hole. Bang. And we're going to have to get it like that. Now we've got to go around and do it all again, but that's fine. And uh, I'll come back to you when I've done it. So I've just come down to change some inventory out because I didn't have the right stuff in my boggage. And we're going to come back up here because we've finished that platforming bit. Up, 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 up. I'll show you what I mean. You can see that. So we've got the platform bit goes all the way along. And now it's time to do some other stuffs. And the other stuffs we're going to do now is obsidian -y, In that it's got a lot of obsidian in it. So we're going to make a... Oh, that's kind of long now. We're going to make some large obsidian things. Which are... One, two, and three. We're going to come out three that way. Then on this side... We're going to come out another three, two, and three. Right, so that, I've got enough obsidian to do that many gates, not anymore. And I'm going to add and add and add and add to it as I go. So you can see we've got two dirt blocks here because we want a separation of two between the edge of the obsidian and this walkway here. And what we're going to do is, using this as the centre spot, we're going to come out and you can kind of decide how big you want these to be they can be quite big but i'm going to come out 10 in each direction so again if i'm going to crouch i'm going to come out like you know one two and three so that's one i'm just going two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then i'm just going to again i'm just going to fill this in so as we've got it um three deep in each direction um go in each side of the centre bit. So, nearly there. It always goes really slow in crouch, doesn't it? I wish they had fast crouch. That would be quite fun. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side, and I'm going to do the same on this side, and I'll be back when I've done that. So we've got two lovely platforms, 3 by 21 and Then we need to come to any end, and I'm going to build up 21, but across all three sides. So there's one already, so that's two, three, four, five, six, oh, I've run out of stack, hang on, six, there we go, seven, and eight, and then we just carry on. And that is 21, and then what we've got to try and do, now I've got feather fall boots, so I can do this without hurting myself too much, I'm going to fall, ow, quite a lot of ow, but that's okay, because my feather fall boots saved me, so that's 21 high, I'm then going to just get another stack. They're going to do exactly the same up here. And that's 21. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across and hopefully I've done this the same height on both sides. If not, I'm going to be really, really mad. So let's, I'm just going to do one row just to check by doing a crouch and we should be able to get across and we should come to the other block. If it's wrong, I apologize if I swear. I'm not going to swear. This is a family friendly channel, but in my head, I might. I'm not making any promises. So let's please hope that this lines up beautifully or I can't count. And of course it does. I should have more faith in myself and then just fill it up. Oh no, that's really annoying. Right, now I've got to take that out. There's nothing worse than placing an obsidian block in the wrong place because even with a really good pickaxe, they take a while to do. So then we're just going to come along and finish it off down we're nearly there for the first three and there we go okay so i then now again by virtue of my feather fall boots i'm going to land myself on here no i've missed that's typical i've missed have i got anything that i can there we go so let's right so i'm the world's worst shot that's ridiculous so i'm just going to come up here i'm going to put a block there I'm going to get on the block, I'm going to get on there, and I'm going to mine that block out. There you go. So all is well. That block will just go down and be found in the inventory system there later on. And I'm going to get, I can't believe I missed. It's like a massive target and I missed. Let's get back up. Look, there you go. You never saw nothing. 
I, I hit it. It was a perfect target. I got all the way there. So we go. 21 by 21. Really, really lovely, lovely big um, portal. And that will light up very nicely. Then we're going to come along this side. And we're just going to repeat the process. And we're going to put in um, 21 high on this side. So that's two. That's three. And I'm just going to carry on doing that. And I'll be back when I've finished this portal too. Here we go. Two lovely sets of portals. So we've got six portals here six nether portals that are actually quite big now i need to try and prove to myself that i can land this um so i'm just getting this is appalling in fact I... there we go i told you i could do it for goodness sake i'm an awesome shot right so there we go so we've got what is actually um two fairly significant pieces of construction right here and we just need to get rid of this dirt because we don't need it anymore that can just drop into the water because the inventory system will pick it up and then we want to get some trap doors. And we're going to stick a trap door on the edge of each of these, all the way along. We should need what 42 trap doors all in all, like that. On both sides. Okay, like that. And then what we need to do? I've just realised I've done a wrong one, haven't I? Um, we need to put. Oh, I've still got some dirt. Please have some dirt. Yes, I do have some dirt. Right, so I'm just going to get a bit of dirt there and there. I shouldn't have removed the dirt yet because I'm a fool. Right, Wally Addo. Right, so there we go. That's what we want. So what we now want to do is we want to... I didn't need to do that, did I? I, I just, I'm now frustrating myself. So I've done it now, obviously, but if I would have done that, I could have just jumped onto that and done it from there, couldn't I? But no, that's not the way I wanted to do it, obviously. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to get rid of that one. There we go. And we're going to get our trap doors. I'm going to leave that one um, kind of closed from that, just for the time being. I'm going to put trap doors all the way along here. Now what that's going to do is that's going to make any of the pigment that come through the portal think that there is a solid block upon which they can walk. But they will be in error, dear viewer, because it's not a solid block and they're going to fall straight through into into the water now have i got another stack of oh, those i do okay that's good news right so i'm just going to come back along here just going to finish off putting all of these on now Three, four, five, six. so let's get that like that there and come the other side just keep walking don't fall off the back of the portals man that would be foolish then Get the shovel, get that there, stick that there like that, walk across, get the shovel, get rid of that, stick that there like that, close and close. Right, we got there in the end. So we are now beautifully lined up with all of our stuff. Now we're nearly done. Now we, what we really only need to do is to build up the compounds and for that I need some of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that there and that there i'm going to run fence all the way along so i'm just going to leave a gap there on both sides because i need to get through I'm going to run the fence to there I'm going to put that block there what am i doing falls at the other end right so we're going to come along here in that case no, i don't want that we'll come along here so we're at the end there we go I'm just going to come along and I'm going to leave a gap because I might need to go through one. Well, I might need to go through there. I definitely need to go through there in a minute. There and there. And then I want to just get my flint and steel because it's time to get lighting. So I've just popped up a couple of trapdoors on either side because what we want to do is we want to come to the back row and light it like that there you go and come to the next row and light it and then the next row and light it and come back then we're gonna close those two get ourselves a fence and that closes that off then we're gonna come and do the same on the other side back one back one back one back one then we're gonna get those closed come forward close up that fence and that way we can't get in or out from there. Now, this isn't a super duper looper job because 
it's only got kind of three on each side, but it will be functional, uh, don't you worry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some snow blocks and some pumpkins. And I'm in here, I'm going to put, so oh, you can hear them already, I'm going to put, oh, I can't reach. I'm going to put, oh, I can't reach, I can't believe I can't reach. Just get a dirt block as well. So jump up there, and then I'm going to stick a pumpkin there, and I get myself a snow golem. Happy days. That's good. I don't really need one, but me, being a little bit greedy, I'm going to go for a couple, so I'm going to go one, two. I wonder if you can make snow golems stand on the set. Yeah, you can, brilliant. And we're going to get another one. I'm going to get one, two, stand on its head. There we go. I'm going to come around, and I'm going to come around this side, because we do not want those snow golems getting out, and stick that there. So those snow golems, when they see a zombie pigman peek through, they're going to have a go at the zombie pigman, because they're going to stare each other out a little bit. They're going to have a go at the zombie pigman by lobbing a snowball at them. And when they lob the snowball at them, that's going to aggro all of the pigmen, and they're kind of like little sentries. And uh, aggro in the pigment means the pigment are going to try and run. I'm assuming they get close enough. Just waiting for one of those to have a little bit of a pop. Are you going to have a pop or what? Anyway, in the meantime, I'm just going to crouch here. I'm going to stick the torch on that side. Stick the torch on that side. Just for a little bit of natural light. I'm trying to work out why that golem there isn't doing what it's meant to be doing. Why are you not having a go? Look, can you not see this zombie pigment just here? Look, oi, oi, oi. Look, this fella here, look. This fella here. Can you not see it? Look, it's there. He's poking its head through. He's saying, hello. Can you not see it? Look, it's there. Oh, oh, that, that one didn't like that one there, did it? He's thinking, hang on, what's going on there? Are you going to look snuggle there? Is it because, is it because you can't throw over the fences? Have I just discovered something? It's because you can't see over the fences. Well, I wonder if that's the reason. Oh, that would be a really big irritant, wouldn't it? Right, so let's get myself a... You know what, I'm going to get myself a block. What should I get a block of? A block of cobble. If I then put... Get rid of that. And then put a block of cobble on there. Does that mean you can then see? Because you're definitely very interested in them, aren't you? Let's get rid of that. Put that there. This is me learning as I go. So can you throw over the blocks? This is a learning experience. Okay, through the golems, that's a little bit odd. I just want to come back here and I want to watch as the pigmen poke through as they invariably do. See, that was my worry. Look, turn around, there's a pigmen there. Look, it's his bum. Why are these snow golems not having a go? That's really disappointing. Oh well. Well, if they don't work, tell me in the description below. Why is that not working? Because I thought it would. That was a total genius ploy by me, I thought. Not to worry. Have I got any stone left? No, I'm not. Right, I'm just going to... My OCD is not going to like this, but I'm going to fill that up. And I'm just going to get that there. And I'm going to fill that there. I thought that snow golems would be having a pop at those, but obviously they're not. That's, that's a bit of a shame. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to aggro these myself, just for the time being. So that now falling down. The snow guy is definitely looking. That won't work because it's not through. I mean, all I want is one pig man to poke his head through. Is that too much to ask? Just one of you. Poke your head through in a way that means I can shoot you and aggro and get all your mates coming through. You know what? I'm just going to go back down. I should have put a gate in there, shouldn't I? Is that the right end? Right, so I'm going to change that one for a gate. I don't think I'm going to have to come back. I'm going to have to go and craft a gate. Because um, I think I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Right, so I should have a few piggies there, which is great. Let's come and have a go. Where's my sword? Where's my sword gone? Hang on a minute, where's my sword gone? Did I leave my sword at camp? That won't be good if I left my sword at camp. That's really irritating. See, now I've got to use a pickaxe, and that's not what I wanted to use. So I'm now going to hit these zombie pigmen with my pickaxe. It's not effective. 
They do die eventually. So I'm just having a go at the zombie pig man with my pickaxe. There we go. Kill you all with my pickaxe. Oh, I must have left my pistol somewhere. Okay, so we got a load of deaths there, but we didn't get any experience. Why is that? Well, that's because this trap door is in the way. Let's see what this does to our experience. There we go. So we got a nice little chunk of experience. 98 experience, remember? That's not too bad. I'm just going to have something sweet. I'm a little bit worried about where my sword's gone. Have I dropped my sword? Did I drop my sword somewhere? That's really frustrating. However, you can see we're already starting to get some gold, some golden swords, which we can obviously smelt into gold ingots. Some more gold ingots, plus the stuff that I dropped down here earlier. I don't really want that, so that can go back in there. Um, so it is all right. Look, and there's already more pigment coming in, but we can have a pop. Where's my sword? I want my sword. Well, that was a little frustrating. I don't know where my sword's gone. It's got to be around here somewhere. It's not in only these chests. I'm a little bit worried. I've either left it back in camp, or I've somehow thrown it without realising I've thrown it. And it's despawned somewhere. Now, if that's the case, I'm going to be gutted because that was a really nice sword. That was like mega sword. Um, so I guess I guess I'll just have to hope that I've not lost it. But look, it's working quite nicely. Now, I don't know whether or not these guys are coming out because those snow golems attract them. Or whether or not the snow golems can't see them for whatever reason. But I thought... Snow golems would naturally lob snowballs at them to aggro them. So in the comments below, let me know why that's not the case and teach me something new. That would be great. But and despite that, I could always go up there and lob an arrow at one of them and aggro them out. And when I've got a lot more um, portals, that will bring out a lot more zombie pigment as it is. I've got a few here. So it's a good way to get more gold because I need more gold because I desperately need to be able to do more power rounds. I've got all sorts of things that I want to crack on with. So I'm going to call it there for the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a bit of a let's build tutorial, I grant you, but this gold farm's dead, dead easy. You can see you can do it in survival. It does use a bit of resource, I grant you, but this is cobble, for goodness sake. If you've done any digging, you're going to have loads of cobble. And the only thing you've got to really crack on with is that obsidian. But, you know, I've proven that you can collect enough obsidian. It's only, uh, it's, it's very add honourable this particular build you can build more gates on as you go as you get more obsidian so don't think you've got to do 16 obsidian gates on either side because you don't if you have enjoyed this video please do make sure you slap that like button it'd be great to know that you've enjoyed it and we'll see how many likes we can get on it and if you've not done it already please 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 do hit that subscribe button it'll be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video take it easy now bye i really want to know where my sword is